Hello there, world of tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Droodles Blitz, and in today's video, we are taking a look at the mutant. This is a tier 7 Blitz Nation medium. It's a tank that a lot of you have already seen a sneak peek of on Wargaming's official channel, and I have been waiting oh so dearly for these statistics of this absolutely ugly box to get released, so I can show you what it has going for it. When I see a T-49 that is making its way down in the tier 7, I'm always quite excited. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the gun this vehicle features, its damage per minute, accuracy, all the things there, its armor profile, obviously, and we're going to finish off by rating this vehicle. So hopefully you enjoy today's video, you won't see this content anywhere else, and let's get straight into it. Now first of all, I should mention, I am running equipment on this vehicle. We are going to stick with a gun or calibrated shells. We've got obviously enhanced lane gun drive, and we have V stabs to make this vehicle more accurate on the move. Uh, when it comes to HP and everything, you know, these are all normal things, but the vehicle is fully kitted out because this is obviously what it's going to be like when it's in your garage. So DPM-wise, with calibrated shells, you're sitting at 1,720. With rammer, you're sitting at 1,850. However, this is one of those vehicles that you're going to be a lot better off running calibrated shells as it is a T-49 style tank. It's got a long reload, 16.4 seconds. And that is because this Tier 7 deals 4 170 damage per shot. Yeah, it's not a 560 like the T49. It's not a 640 like the Smasher. It's 470. Now, to be fair, this is a tier 7. That still is a very hard slap. If you swap to heat, this vehicle deals 400 damage per shot, and if you load high explosive, you deal a pretty nice 580. It's nothing crazy, but it still hits pretty hard. So let's take a look at this vehicle's penetration. The standard AP has 155 mils, which is okay. It's nothing crazy, but it's enough to cut through most, I would say, tier 6 and tier 7 weak spots. When you make your way to the heat, it has 216 mils of pen, which isn't great. You have to remember that there is no shell normalization on heat, so 216 mils is not very good. You will be able to cut through some tier 8, but not a lot of the heavily armored vehicles. There's basically no air frontally you can pen a Tiger 2, so yeah, you're going to have to be a little careful there. The high explosive is sitting at 51 mils a pen. That's really bad. I was hoping that a vehicle with this type of caliber was going to be sitting upwards of, you know, 80, 90 mils of HE pen, so you could actually cut through a lot of tier sixes but wargaming said nah that's not happening so yeah in terms of this vehicle's gun it does hit hard don't get me wrong but it's got a lot of weaknesses not a lot of pen on the premium and its he is actually awful on the pen which as i said is very disappointing but it does hit hard so at least you got that going for it Accuracy wise, obviously, this isn't going to be too good for the vehicle. Sitting at 0.38 while sitting still, and also pretty mediocre on movement dispersion, especially when you realize that this is with V stabs on. So it's not going to be an accurate take on move at all. And you could run, obviously, refined gun and get that down to 0.342 dispersion, but I don't really see a reason to do that when it's also a medium that is going to require you to shoot maybe while you're moving occasionally or turning the vehicle always go for on movement dispersion over base dispersion on a style of vehicle like this gun depression wise actually not good six degrees you would think that this tank i guess would have more but now now that i look at it we can see that there's just this big old flat piece of armor right below the gun so it actually can't physically have more than six degrees of gun depression that alone is really disappointing i was hoping this vehicle would have at least eight kind of like the t49 and just about every other you know 150 style gun with this armament but yeah it only has six degrees of gun depression it does have a lot of gun elevation though we can see that here but uh yeah if we move the gun down that is as far down as it's getting top speed 47 kilometers per hour reverses at 18 so it's not the fastest 
by any means. There's a lot of mediums that are quite a bit more mobile in the tier. I would actually put this in the slower end, but it does have a decent power to weight, at least on hard terrain, of 19.3. Medium terrain of only 15.8 is pretty dookie. Gonna be honest, it's, it's pretty bad for a medium. So this seems more like not necessarily the fastest of tanks, at least in the medium category. Traverse speed is fine, though, so you're not going to have to worry too much about being flanked or anything like that. Survivability, 1,272 HP, which is pretty average, and that's about all she wrote when it comes to this vehicle's statistics. So, a basic overview. It hits hard, it doesn't have a lot of mobility, or gun depression, or accuracy, so that's about it. It's going to hit hard. But there's one final thing we do want to take a look at, and that is the arm profile. So what is it looking like? Well, the upper plate is actually not awful. I was hoping with more gun depression, you'd obviously be able to use this upper plate, you know, angle it like this, but unfortunately that's not the case. Okay, well, the turret does look quite a bit more red, so maybe there we have some decent armor, and unfortunately... That's not the case. As we can see here, it has 125 millimeters of effective spaced armor, and then about 57 millimeters of base armor. So you add those two together, and you're looking at about 170 to 80 mils effective on that turret. I mean, yeah, you might get bounces from tier 7s and maybe tier 8 mediums that lower all their pens. But at the same time, I just can't see many situations where you're going to struggle all too much to penetrate about 190 mils of armor on this vehicle's turret. It's just not looking all that tricky. But it's not the worst. I will say that you will definitely get some bounces when using this vehicle, only showcasing the turret. The problem, as I said, is that it only has six degrees of gun depression. And this thing is a freaking box. So I guarantee if you're showing the turret, you're also going to be showing the hull, and your hull is literally awful. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Lower plate, by the way, only 76 millimeters thick. That means ISU, Smasher, SU-152 are able to pen you with high explosive ammunition in the lower plate. The only part that might be a little troll is this little spaced armor, you know, in the middle here. You can see it's like a little plow. That might cause some bounces against heat shells. Same for this here. But uh, I just, I don't know, I can't see many bounces being dealt to this tank. We do have these little cutouts on the side, though, and these are actually quite troll. As we can see, about 140 millimeters of core armor and 80 millimeters of space is about 200 and what, 40 or 220 mils of armor. So shooting at the side of this vehicle's turret is actually somehow harder than the front. Very weird, right? The side of this tank is only 68 mils thick, and the rear, oh boy, it is only 50 millimeters thick. Even the weird angled bits are only about 55 to 60. So essentially, it has no armor. What Wargaming did is they put a derp gun on a tank and then took away all of its other fun characteristics. I can see this being a fun vehicle to get your hands on. You know, it's got high alpha. It's got a lot of great things going for it. And even though the DPM isn't great, it's not the worst for a tier 7. But at the same time... I do feel like this tank needs either more gun depression or more mobility, because right now it just seems like it trades everything for the gun. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind a vehicle like this being in a mediocre state rather than an overpowered one like the Smasher, but at the same time, this vehicle doesn't necessarily look super fun, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this vehicle in the comments. Right now, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Ideally, I would like to see it have more gun depression, and I think it'd be fine, but uh, I think it still looks like it will be a fun vehicle. Any tank that has a derp gun at any tier is always going to be fun, and especially a medium at tier 7. It, the only T-49 we've ever had at tier 7 was the ATM, and that was all the way back like five years ago, and that thing was a blast, so hopefully this plays something like that. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.